Calendar Man is one of my favorite villains to ever be created. And it has to do with a whole number of things, but one of my favorite things above all else is his fascination for calendars. But not just the calendars themselves, but the dates within them. Like New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, the holidays go on. And his trademark being Calendar Man is to essentially kill people based on the themes of the holidays. Like on Christmas, dressing up as a snowman and committing several crimes for Batman to try and stop. Or bursting into a New Year's Eve party to literally burn everyone alive with a huge flamethrower like in the Arkham games. And a new year means a new start. I admit, stepping into a crowded ballroom with a flamethrower was a bit dramatic. But what better way to melt the ice at a party? He's a villain that just has so much potential to go either way, being the malleable character he is. Like on one side of the coin, he can be an extremely menacing, almost Hannibal Lecter type villain, turning family holidays centering around togetherness and joy into just haunting nightmares of what they used to be. Or he can be a silly, goofy villain going around painting streetlights the opposite colors just because it's opposite day. I mean, not a single holiday is safe from the calendar man. Not even National fucking Spaghetti Day. But what happens when this insane, calendar-obsessed man becomes an omniscient being who could very well transcend the very fabric of time and space? Well, he, uh... He tries to get revenge on Batman, because what else is there to do? But before we can continue this tale of the omniscient calendar man, we must reel it back to how we even got this power in the first place. As we start the story in Arkham Asylum, with Calendar Man planning on his calendar the next time he will get his revenge on Batman, 4,259 days from now. Until out of nowhere, Joker gas seeps through the entire asylum, killing everyone, including Calendar Man, 4,259 days before getting his revenge. That is, until Calendar Man is saved from death by Mr. Mixel Pitlick, welcoming Calendar Man to the realm of imagination, the fifth dimension. Mr. Mixel Pitlick then goes on to say that he's been keeping a big secret for so long, and that he's been waiting to find the perfect someone to tell it to, and he's finally found that person through through Calendar Man. But before Mr. Mixel Pitlick can tell Calendar Man his big secret, he wants to know what makes Calendar Man tick. So Calendar Man begins to explain that he grew up in chaos, and no one ever celebrated things like his birthday. So in Calendar Man's life as a kid, discovering calendars, he felt as though the calendars organized time into little boxes, thus making Calendar Man feel more in control of his life. And Mr. Mixel Pitlick, hearing Calendar Man say the phrase, little boxes, he gives Calendar Man a hat just like his, granting Calendar Man the ability to see that reality is completely organized into little boxes. With Mr. Mixel Pitlick even numbering the very panels they're in, explaining that Calendar Man was just in his cell in panel 1, and they met right after in panel 6. Explaining that with that hat, Calendar Man can see every panel from the past and the future. All he has to do is just take a look. So Calendar Man looks outside of the panel to find out that every moment is connected, seeing the very moment he was given the hat, and even the future of them both hugging. As the next panel shows, Calendar Man aggressively hugging Mr. Mixel so Pitlick in excitement that now everything in his life is in little boxes. And now seeing the power he has, he can finally kill Batman. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Mixel Pitlick kicks Calendar Man out of the fifth dimension, saying that if he gets Superman involved, he'll give Calendar Man a surprise in panel 77. As Calendar Man lands back in Gotham, confused on whether or not what happened was even real, right before a group of thugs lurk out of the shadows to rob him. And Calendar Man seeking to defend himself, a stick appears in his hand. And using the stick, he tries to defend himself by attacking the thugs but he ends up missing, but hitting them in the panel below, causing the thugs to run in terror, as Calendar Man takes a moment to realize that everything that just transpired was real. So Calendar Man starts looking beyond the panels, realizing he's actually invincible and a literal god ready to kill Batman. Reaching out from the panels, looking left and right to see if there might be another panel he can use to kill Batman when he sees with his own two eyes, Bruce Wayne at the back computer with his screen showing a huge wave of energy has just been detected in a downtown alley in Gotham, running further diagnostics to show that it's Mr. Mixel Pitlick's doing. So Bruce calls in Superman to help stop whatever Mr. Mixel Pitlick might be planning. Meanwhile, Calendar Man watching the panels figures out that Bruce Wayne is really Batman. So immediately, Calendar Man runs off 
off to the Iceberg Lounge to get some help. Upon entering the lounge, he finds villains like Kite Man and Firefly sharing a drink together, surprised that Calendar Man just walked through the door. But Calendar Man just cuts to the chase, telling everyone that Batman is really Bruce Wayne. But no one believes him, asking how he even came to that conclusion. So Calendar Man tells the villains that a small man gave him a purple hat that can let him see into little boxes of time, allowing himself to transcend all of time and space, and in one of the little boxes he saw Bruce Wayne as Batman. And the villains listening to Calendar Man they burst out into laughter, until Calendar Man sucker punches Kite Man, causing a nasty fight to break out. And after the villains finish beating up Calendar Man, they all laugh at him once more. And as they continue to laugh, Calendar Man grabs a broken bottle and slashes the pair in the panel below, getting his revenge. And after taking down the group of villains, he would look through further panels to find Batman and Superman, to find the two of them going over the sudden involvement of Mr. Mixapitlik and the weird energy surges in Gotham. As Calendar Man yells in excitement that he got Superman involved in this now, so he'll be expecting that surprise in panel 77, as Calendar Man jumps through the panel into the Hall of Justice to fight Batman and Superman. But before Batman and Superman can do anything, Calendar Man punches the pair in every panel surrounding them. So Superman gets the idea to try and freeze Calendar Man, but in the next panel he grabs Soup's head, and in mid-fight says that he only has two boxes away from panel 77, as he makes Superman freeze himself from the panel above. Allowing for panel 77 to arrive as Mr. Mixel Pit Lick grants Calendar Man the bonus gift a red pen. But it isn't just any red pen, as when Batman tries to stop Calendar Man with a Batarang, Calendar Man just goes to the panel over and crosses out the Batarang with the pen. But Calendar Man's omnipotence starts to get the better of him as he says the two can never win, while looking forward in time, confused on why Batman and Superman are helping him, while Batman knocks the pen out of his hand while distracted from a different panel. And in Calendar Man dropping the pen, he ends up getting his arm severed from his body, causing Calendar Man to absolutely freak out. While Superman and Batman cauterize and wrap up his wound while also destroying the magical hat and calibrating the teleporter to bring Calendar Man back to prison. Afterwards, as Calendar Man sits in the infirmary, all bruised and beaten, Mr. Mixel Pitlick is upset about how everything played out. So, for Calendar Man's sake, Mr. Mixel Pitlick takes away Calendar Man's knowledge of Batman's identity and gives him his arm back. But after setting things right, Mr. Mixel Pitlick begins to become furious with us, the readers, saying that we never stop reading the same things over and over even after 80 years, questioning if it ever gets boring, but also saying that in a funny way, he's kind of glad that we all keep coming back, because without us, his dimension ceases, and our favorite heroes with it too. Ending the story. By the way, I also found out that after making this entire video that Calendar Man once rapidly aged and gave birth to himself. So here's this disturbing image. Anyways, I hope you guys like the story, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.